If you've got lower back pain over here, we've got pain in the glutes or down the leg and sciatic type symptoms, then this video is going to be great for you. We're gonna go through a step-by-step -step guide to using one of these, a massage gun, to help alleviate the stiffness and tightness that can so frequently really make our lower back pain worse. So we're using these massage guns to alleviate the stiffness in the legs, making our hips move better so our hips aren't pulling on our back, so our back doesn't get bothered on a daily basis. It's gonna be a great part of your rehabilitation work and you're just gonna be able to follow along. So grab hold of your massage gun and we will get started. We're gonna start off on the front of the hips. We're gonna go through glute medius minimus, then we're gonna come round, we're gonna do the glute max area, then we're gonna come down the thigh on the lateral part of our quads. Then we're gonna come round over to the top of the quads. We're then gonna switch over, go through the adductors, finish up on the hamstrings, then we're gonna get into some calves here, and finally work on this little muscle on the front of the shin, the tibialis anterior, then go through the other side. So grab your gun and let's get started. Turn it on, hopefully you've got one of the quiet ones. Pop the leg up like so, because it takes these muscles off tension here at the front, and just start working on the front of your hip area. You can come around a little bit to the side as well, like I'm doing, but just working back and forwards here. Not applying too much pressure to any of these, just letting the weight of the gun do its work. And then move around to the glutes. There's a bony bit on the side here that we're gonna just work around in like a C shape. Working on all the belly of the muscle, trying to avoid the bony bits. Then you're going to start coming down the side of the thigh. Keep your leg nice and relaxed as you're doing this. This is going to hit the IT band a little bit as well as we're doing this. Then start moving on to the top of the quads, so the main bit of the quads and just on the inside of the knee a little bit, that vastus medialis, a bit of muscle there, just make sure that's working nicely. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come round to the adductors. So working down the inside of the thigh here. This can be a little bit ticklish when you're doing it the first time. start moving round to the hamstrings on the back. If you need to just bend the knee slightly, that'll allow you to get into those hamstrings a little bit more. we're gonna start making our way down to the calves. So bend the knee here, working down on the inside and just work your way around to the outside. Again, try and keep the leg as relaxed as possible. Finally, we're gonna finish up coming on to the front of the shin down here. And again, just keep that shin nice and relaxed. Try and avoid the bone, focus on the soft bits. And don't press too hard here, otherwise you get a few little tingles. Okay. 
Okay, that's the one leg done. Okay, pop yourself up nice and slowly. We can make a start on the second side. So remember, we're gonna pop that leg up, take this hip off tension here, and we're gonna start working immediately into those minimus and medius. Mi minimus and medius. Just keep that leg nice and relaxed and just work again, left to right. Okay, get yourself ready to start working around onto the main part of the glute max. So coming around here. Again, those sweeping C shapes. You can also do this with the leg down by your side as well. And then let's get into the side of the thigh. So working down the IT band and the lateral part of the quads, the outside part of your quads. Just keep those quads really relaxed as you're doing this. Start moving around to the top of the quads. So think about a line from your hip to the top of your kneecap, and that's where we're going to try and focus running up and down, and then every so often coming down the inside of the knee, just working on the soft bit just above the kneecap. And uh, let's move, move around to the adductors. I'll just swap position again. So working down the inside of the thigh here. and then moving over to the hamstrings. If you need to, just bending the knee slightly. And then we're gonna move down onto those calves. So bend your knee to 90 degrees and start working on the inside of the calves. And then we'll finish up by coming down onto the front of the shin and just working gently in this small area of the tib anterior. Just as we finish up, we'll just jump up to the lower back and just stand with really good posture. Just for a moment, for a little tip for you to do this as well, just at the very end. So we want to stand with good posture in the lower back, find our spine, and just we can just work up and down very gently either side of the spine. So just work on the one side for 10, 15, 20 seconds, and then we can come over to the other side and just work through this area here. Again, don't round your back, just work 
into the muscles with good posture. Now there's just one or two final points I just wanted to touch on here. Hopefully you found that routine good to follow along with. Remember, you don't have to do them in the standing position. Part of that is me just showing you where we're at in the various muscles, but you can by all means do your hamstring stretches, sat down, working along the back of the thigh. Another great tip can be that if you're working on the hamstring, stand next to the chair and work in this position, particularly if they're tight because this takes them off tension. You can obviously do all of these positions sat down as well. You don't have to do them in the position that I was doing them in the, particular, in, in the video that we've just done. So give these a go, incorporate this into your daily routine. It can work really well before you go in and do some lower body stretching. You've woken up those muscles, you've increased the blood circulation to them, and therefore you're probably gonna find that you get a little bit more out of them when you start doing some of your standard stretching as well. So save this video, hopefully it's been a great one. And remember, if you want to learn more, there's three ways we can help you. Number one, we have the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel's there. We've got the podcast, we've got videos just like this to help you on all things back health and back pain and getting you out of it. We've also got the membership program on the website to help you with a more structured approach to fixing your lower back pain from home with support from us uh, here at Back in Shape. And then finally, more recently, you can get on with us one-to-one, -one, either through a virtual consultation or here in the space and have some treatment hands-on in that regard with all the various bits of tech that we've got here. So see you in the next video. Hopefully this has been a great one for you.